Yeah, Rust. Rust. And this is beer. Rust? Is that a Russian thing? No, it's a German thing. But Rust? What does it mean? Rust. I mean, just... Rust. Is it like cheers? Yeah, it's cheers, like, man. Yeah. So this is some beer that we bought with Lightning actually here, yep. which is amazing. And uh, something I want to uh, talk to you about mm -hmm. is uh, obviously a podcast. So you're one of the quite successful Bitcoin podcasts. Can you tell us more about that? Well, what do you want to know, man? <laughs> uh, first of all, like, how did you even uh, decide to start yet another podcast about it? Well, do you know what it was? It was like uh, 19 months ago, I think now. Uh, I, was, I was writing about Bitcoin. Uh, everything I was writing was terrible. Uh, I didn't really know what I was doing. But I had a really had a podcast. It was really successful. I really liked it. And it was just one weekend. I was in Los Angeles with my buddy. I said, you know what? I think I'm going to do a podcast. So I contacted my friend. He said, this is the equipment you need. I ordered it all on Amazon. It came two days later. I called a guy who was in LA. I knew him. I did first episode. And then a couple of weeks later, I did my second one and the third. And then I didn't do one for like six years or four weeks. And then since then, I've never missed a week. And now I do two a week. And it was all by chance, man. I like no fire. What is what is the most uh, I don't know, the most hard thing for a podcast? What is okay? What, what is uh, what is the thing that uh, someone who wants to do a successful podcast has to focus on? What is the most important stuff? Well, it depends on what their goal is. You know, if their goal is to as a hobby, then I think they've got to focus on enjoying it because. The worst thing for them would be to start and stop it, right? I think a lot of people start podcasts, they do 5, 10, 20 episodes and they stop. So if you just want to make a podcast, then I think you need to probably come and do it. If you want to make it a full-time gig, like you want to earn money, then you've got to consider it, I think, personally, in some ways, like a business. You know, it doesn't mean you have to be on Netflix, but you've got to think about how it's going to make money. And if it's how it's going to make money, you've got to ensure you get a good reach, and you've got to have sponsors. Uh, but yeah, it depends what your goal is, but I think most of all you're going to enjoy doing it. Because if you don't enjoy doing it, I think you can sit. Do you enjoy doing yours? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's what I'm doing. Why I'm doing it. But uh, I mean, uh, even if I don't consider it my uh, full-time job, it's not my full-time job, but still I want to uh, reach uh, as many listeners as possible. I want to put high quality content and I just want to uh, learn from you because your content is quite good. I listen to your podcast. Uh, so you enjoy doing it, right? Yes. If you didn't enjoy doing it, you wouldn't probably do it. So I think enjoying it is the most important thing. So um, is the, do you have a team or do you do everything by yourself? Organizing, setting up, recording, uh, publishing, promoting, and all the podcasts? So most of it is me. We do have a couple of people helping me now. So editing, of course. Yeah, I'm an engineer. But you know what? There was one period of time I did it myself. Because I was spending a lot of money doing it. I was spending like $1,500. Making money in the Bitcoin price, $1,500 per, per, per month. For so like for all the editors. Yeah, so like $200 a show. And then what happened was, is that, um, you know, the Bitcoin price was dropping and I wasn't getting advertised. So I said, look, I'll try it myself. And I'm glad I did actually. Learning about the editing process was really useful. But now I've got sponsors and now uh, it's making money and I'm really super busy, like two episodes a week, sometimes three. I now have an editor who does all the sound engineering for me, and I have a guy who does my transcriptions. I, do, I don't have any other help, I do I get to that point now where I think I need an assistant to help me with everything. Mm -hmm. I hope I get it. Do you do everything? Uh, for some first month, my first I did do everything by myself, but now uh, I have a, a team, I have a co-host, and I have a couple more guys who are helping in the background, and we're trying to, trying to make it a little bit more organized, not necessarily kind of a, a business to earn a, Just a pocket change. It's no, no, 
Well, and that was an objective, not that I you know, want to be rich or care about. I mean, obviously, it'd be great to get a lap home. Uh, but no, no, but the focus really is that I want to do this full time. I want to be a pseudo journalist, a weird term. I want to do this full time, I want to do this full time. And I want to do as many in person as possible. I always think like this Do you do any, do you do any remote or in person or in Which do you prefer, remote or in person? I mean, I don't have that much choice because I'm quite talking to Russian, Russian, uh, Russian audience and I'm uh, generally outside Russia now, okay. so it has to be remote. Uh, we are sometimes, I mean, uh, we are sometimes doing interviews and conferences like this one. Yeah. Yeah. I prefer them in person, I think they're higher quality, I think as we're talking, I can see you, so I can see body language, take signals from them. So when I'm doing interviews in uh, person, I prefer it, so I'm trying to do more like that, but that comes with a cost, you know, the cost to come here. I was in Oslo last weekend, I've got to go up to San Fran next month, so there's a cost to do it. Yeah, 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 so I think something is start, starting behind our back. So kind of some final thoughts what I think about this event, my thing and stuff. Very cool. Uh, I still think we like them very early, but it's very cool. I love how many people have come together to, like, as they say, a hack day and seeing the shit they're building over there. It's fucking cool. The way people are getting together and working together, it's really cool. I love it. So yeah, I think it's great. I think it's impressive. It's great. Very, 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 very